Good morning. Glad you're here this morning. Uh, Psalms 42, 3 says, My tears have been my food day and night, while they continually say to me, Where is your God? You know, the devil never asks you that question when everything's going great, does he? He only asks you that question when the bottom's dropped out. Where's your God now? Where's all that church stuff you've been doing? How does that work out for you now that you just lost your job? How does that work out with you that you just found out you've got a, a real problem that's going to have to require operation or maybe cancer or something like that? And he says to you, where is your God now? Well, let me tell you, he's on, he's on site. He's there with you. But I want to go even further than that. You know, in Psalms 119, David prayed for this. He said in verse 42, so shall I have. He said, let your mercies come also unto me, Lord, your salvation according to your word. So shall I have an answer for him who reproaches me. You know, when the devil tempted Jesus, three times he gave him an answer. Three times he shut him up with the word of God. Our secret in the midst of our disaster is to shut him up with the word of God. He hates that. He does not want that. When we can say when the bottom has fallen out on us, my God is faithful. Lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. When you go through the waters, I will be with you. When they overflow with you, I will be with you. I'm not going to answer the answer that you want. Remember what Job's wife said? Why don't you curse God and die? What did the devil say previous to that? If you not only take all of his family away, all of his income away, but if you break his health from the top of his head to the bottom of the feet, he'll curse you to your face. That's exactly what his wife said. Where do you think that was the origin of that came from? And yet Job didn't know this great spectacle was going on in heaven. He was on trial and God was using Job to bless Job and to shut Satan up. God never told Job what the answer was, did he? He never said, Job, hey, <laughs> I'm sorry, but look at what's happened. You are the victor. You are triumphant. You shut the devil up. People will talk about you. You're a hero. You're, you're in the hall of fame. You'll be there forever and ever. Job never got that message. Why? Because if he'd gotten that message, everybody that doesn't get a message would feel like we've been slighted. What was Job prompted to do? Trust God that he's got it, even though we don't understand it, and even though we're going through trial. And this is what I want to say to you. The title of this devotion, I guess, could be Fatigue is Not Failure. Just because you're falling down doesn't mean you failed. Because you're getting tired doesn't mean you failed. Now listen, when there's no risk, there's no reward. If there was no um, possibility of getting hurt on the battlefield, there'd be no valor. If I mean, why do you get the Congressional Medal of Honor? Because you did something that was so brave, so defiant of the circumstances, regardless of your health, that it merited a reward. Paul said, you've been called to this warfare. Wage a good warfare. He said when he was about to die, I fought a good fight. Now, what general is going to say to you, okay, guys, let me just tell you, you're going to be out there, but they're going to be firing. They're going to be shooting. They're going to be stabbing at you, but you're never going to be hurt. There wouldn't be any fear in that. There wouldn't, there wouldn't be any contest in that. We've been called to something that requires faith. It requires us in the midst of battle and circumstances to trust God. And we are to give an answer to the devil's temptations, especially when he says, where is your God? So he's right here. Lo, I'm with thee always, even unto the end of the age. I don't care how bad it looks for me, how bad it feels for me. He's never left me. And so you, my friend, and not my friend, but you can take a hike. Get the hint.
hence. For it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. He didn't just say that when things were great. It's when things are terrible. Adversity is the road to advancement in God's kingdom. The sufferings of this life are not to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in us. God bless you, and you have a great day.